Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get rid of a very heavy-duty double chin. This it looks like Honey Boo Boo's mom, I believe. And we've managed to get rid of her double chin, just like this. So there it's gone. How did I do it? It's quite complicated. Well, it's not complicated, but there's a number of steps. So I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to do it. All right, here is a fresh copy of the image, and we're about to begin. The first step, go over to your left side here, and we're going to grab the pen tool. We're going to draw basically a selection around her chin. So I'm just going to click on there and then I just drag it to get make sure that I got her uh, nicely done here. So I've got that. I'm going to go down to right about here, down to the crease of her neck, over to here, over to about here. I'm going to just go ahead. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just want a selection that gets most of the neck here and we're going to leave the rest. Okay, with that done, we're now going to right click on it. So right click and you can now go make selection. We're going to add a feathered radius of about four pixels. You can do it uh, maybe even, f yeah, four pixels is fine, but anywhere between four and five works best. Click on OK. So now we've made that selection. The next step is you want to hold down command key on a Mac, control key if you're on a PC, and the J. And what it does is it creates copy. So copy from layer. So command J twice or control J twice and we've created two new layers or two new copies of just the map of just the selection now I'm gonna go back to my move tool and I'm going to go ahead and hold down the alt or the option key and move my little hand here so that's right between these two lines and that's going to create a clipping mask so we've got a clipping mask and we've got these two layer copies now on this top copy making sure you're selected on the top one you want to go to image actually you know what go to edit go to transform and then go to warp we're going to warp the top copy and then we're going to do some painting after that so basically the general gist is if it's an easy transformation you just pull this middle piece up like that and you can see the chin is basically disappearing as it's supposed to however because we're using a difficult double chin it's not working on the edges so we're going to go ahead and pull the edges up a little bit bit by bit by bit and this might have to actually come down a bit again this is not going to be perfect but that's okay because I'm going to show you how to get it get the hard parts done so this is getting a little wonky here so let's go ahead and go to about there Maybe we'll just keep it there, actually, and then we'll just pull this part in. So we're basically just pulling in little bits and pieces. This this side here is a little bit trickier, as you can tell. So we're going to have to go with something like that, and then I'm going to hit Enter. And again, this is not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. However, we got rid of the main double chin underneath the center, and then we're going to have to paint a little bit on the right side to show you how to get the rest done. Okay, good. So we've gone from, let's go, where are we? We're here. This is where we started. Honey Boo Boo, it's mom. Okay, come on, Curtis. We started there. Add that in. Add that in. On our way the next step is we're going to create a new layer on top of this and now we're getting out the paintbrush and we're going to get rid of this some of these issues using the paintbrush now when i grab the paintbrush i'm going to grab a soft round brush i'm going to go ahead and increase the size let's see yeah something like that we're going to increase the size to a bigger size to start and then we're going to do some fine tuning at the end okay good so we've got a bigger size brush and you're going to notice very, very clearly that I have a flow of 10%. This is not standard. You are going to probably be have 100%, 100%. Drop your flow down to a hundred to 10%, and there's a good reason why, because we're going to be doing some delicate work here. So now I've got the brush selected. I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key, and what you can do now, I'm going to work on this side here, is I can just paint over top of the creases here. So I'm going to go ahead, and I just held down the Alt or the Option key, and then I left-click on it, and that selects the color and I'm gonna just slowly paint over this crease as you can see I'm gonna not try and take too long with this but I'm just basically trying to smudge in some colors here and get rid of some of this crease now again this is not supposed to be perfect I'm trying to do this quickly so you don't uh, hit the disconnect button but I'm basically cutting out some of these creases and I'm gonna try and remove some of this coloring that you know I just doesn't look quite right to me. So something like that maybe to start. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the size of my brush by holding one of the left bracket keys. And I'm gonna click on some of this redder color here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of that in around the cheek here. So I'm basically just sort of adding, eh, maybe that's a bit too much. I'm adding some color 
to the cheek just to make it look so that it wasn't like it's not like painted over. We don't want to have that painted look. We want it to have that natural look. And this may be here. This could use a little bit of color in this area too. So I'm just slowly clicking on this, adding a little bit of pink in just to make it look like it's a natural as opposed to painted. Now you'll see here that this is what we painted on this top layer. Here's the start. Click, 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 double chin's gone. That's how you do it inside Photoshop the right way. Thanks for watching.